Close between White Lane between Park View and Pin Oak Park. Bakersfield Police investigating a deadly crash involving a car and a motorcycle. And 23 ABC's Leslie Marine is live at the scene with the very latest. Leslie, what can you tell us? Good morning, you guys. We're standing about a quarter mile east of Old River and White Lane here on Park View Drive, and we've just learned new information from Bakersfield Police. They're telling us that this was actually an accident involving a motorcycle and a car. At this point, we do know there was two people on that motorcycle. The man who was driving the motorcycle is now dead. As for the woman who was also on the motorcycle, she has been taken to the hospital. Take a look. Police have completely shut down White Lane now from Park View Drive all the way to Pin. In Oak Park. This is what BPD is saying actually happened. We're hearing that that or they got the call just after 3 a.m. when a motorcycle was actually coming down White Lane uh, on the westbound lanes passing Gosford. That is when the motorcycle actually crossed the median. If you could take a look down here, you can see it's actually over in this area. That's when the um, motorcycle though crossed the median into the eastbound lanes, eventually colliding with the car. We're hearing it took place actually down in that area. It's pretty dark in that area. We asked BPD just how safe that area was. They said it's a pretty dark area. Um, they've had, have had some accidents here, but they can't remember the last time they actually had a fatality. But at this point, again, uh, White Lane is shut down between Park View Drive and Pin Oak Park. That's really the intersection in between Old River and Gosford here in the southwest. So I would just stay away from this area. We'll continue to keep you updated with this investigation. Police say they're probably opening the lanes around 9 or 10 this morning. They're waiting for it to actually, the sun to actually come up in order to finish their investigation here. Let's turn over to 23ABC's Kelly Johnson to see what ways you can get around.